So I want to talk about one of the lines from the classics, one of the principles of Tai Chi Chuan that's readily repeated and in my opinion often misunderstood. Of course I'll just be talking about my view, my experience on this idea. So the idea is one part moves, all parts move. Often this is kind of misunderstood to mean something like all parts move. Like it's just a description of moving the whole body. Of course this leads to a, the era of throwing your mass around, moving your entire body in one direction, moving the whole body forward, left, right, back, throwing your mass. Now that is mass times acceleration, which is the formula for external force, not the formula for internal power. So even if we don't know the correct formula or we don't know what internal power is, we know what external force is. So just by knowing what external force is, we know what is incorrect for Tai Chi Chuan. So we don't want to throw our mass around to make power. One of the reasons is that it creates clumsy power. You might generate a lot of power, but it can be manipulated. Someone can capitalize on your mass moving in one direction to keep you off balance or something like that. So the formula is not simply all parts move in one direction. Another way people understand it is that all parts move, but not in the same direction. So they move in multiple directions at the same time. That's much better. At least you're not throwing your mass around and you generate differentials and you generate stretching in the body and make pretty good power through the elastic nature of the connective tissue. However, in my opinion, it's not a description just saying that all parts move, but it's a formula. The cause is one part moves. The result is all parts move. So we can't abandon the cause. The cause is the most important part and the cause is one part moves. So we often talk about having a trigger to trigger force. Like you pull a trigger on the gun, you pull the trigger. That's the only thing you do. One part moves, just your finger, just the trigger. Then the whole mechanism goes in sequence to generate the power. Now once you've built the body, it's like you've assembled the gun. Then you simply pull the trigger. That's one part. So if you imagine we have a pond, and you drop a stone into the pond, that would be one part moving. You just throw a stone into the pond. Boom. And as a result, the ripples go out through the entire pond all parts move. One part initiates, one part moves, and as a result, all parts change. The waves propagate through the pond. This is like pulling the trigger. Now in Tai Chi Chuan there are different triggers in the body, many, many, but the most common two would be the Yao Kua region as one, or the foot as the other, which means that that part initiates. It is the pebble in the pond, and then the waves propagate through the fluid body, through your body, to create change in your body, you yin yang differentials and generate the powers. One part moves, all parts move. Okay, that's fine. But imagine if our pond was half frozen, half unfrozen. We throw the pebble in and the ripples propagate out, but they hit the frozen part. And of course the ripples don't propagate through the ice only through the water. So that means it is one part moves and some parts move. Now that's what happens to people when they haven't done enough basic body opening. The body's not open and clear. So they can't propagate waves evenly through the body. It becomes one part moves, some parts move. Or there's parts of your body where the chi does not reach. So you need to open the body, clear all the pathways, in other words, melt all the ice so you have a perfect clear pond. Then when you throw the pebble in, one part moves and all parts move. 
So this trigger, like I said, can be your foot, or your waist, qua, whatever. The most important point is that you've prepped the body and you've done the basic jibin gongs, all the body opening, so that you are a pond and not a block of ice. Not everything moves in the same direction. And it's not even that everything just moves in different directions, but all at once. That If that was the case, the formula would just be all parts move. Then why do you need the one part moves part? It would just be everything moves, but it's not. It's one part moves, all parts move. It's not all parts move in the same direction. And it's not all parts move in opposing directions. One part moves, all parts move. It doesn't even mean that they move at the same time. It doesn't say that either. One part moves, all parts move. Visualize the pond, imagine the pond, throw the pebble in, one part, as a result, all parts move, propagating waves throughout the fluid body to generate change, yin and yang differentials, inside our fluid body, inside the chi body. This is my understanding of that formula. Thank you.